Hello folks, my name is Mark, this is Why I Hate the World, how are you guys doing? So, uh, Trump had his, for, um, his, his speech to address the joint session of Congress, um, which is, all, for all intents and purposes, his first uh, State of the Union address, even though it's not technically the first one, but whatever. Um, but what I want to talk about is that during that speech, he announced a thing, a uh, program to be um, run by the Department of Homeland Security called VOICE, which is the Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. And this drew audible gasps from members in Congress there. Um, you know, you could hear it, right? And it's like, what is it? Well, it's basically a program run by the government to get you to hate immigrants, all right? They're going to take the names and crimes of supposed, you know, criminals who are immigrants and they're going to post them on the internet for everybody to read so that you can get mad at immigrants. And then that way it won't be so bad when Trump tries to kick them all out of the country, all right? <clears throat> That's exactly what it is. You know, now, before we move on, some people are going to say, well, this is only going to be for illegal immigrants or undocumented immigrants. Well, it doesn't actually say that, okay? It, it doesn't say, you know, victims of undocumented immigration crime, right? It says immigration. So for all we know, it could be all immigrants. See, there's not enough details yet about any of this, right? Because just like everything that fucking Trump does, he doesn't actually tell you what he's doing. He just blurts some shit out and then does it, and then it's a huge fuck-up. Well, that's exactly what's going here. Nobody knows exactly what this is supposed to mean, you know, or what the details are. And But the thing is, is that it doesn't fucking matter because this kind of thing is incredibly unconstitutional, you know, uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a play right out of the fucking Nazi playbook, right? I mean, this is exactly the kind of thing that Nazis would do, and I'm not the first person to notice this, you know, you'll see this all over the fucking news, you know, the, the Nazis would do things like they would take, um, uh, lists of supposed Jewish criminals, right, and they'd post them in a newspaper, and, uh, magazines and such with their names and their faces and their fucking addresses and shit like that and then people would get mad at it and they would go and they'd like you know vandalize their businesses and assault them and shit like that and it made it that much easier when it came time to like round all these people up and cart them off to concentration camps that it made it that much easier and people didn't care because they were all criminals well that's exactly what this is doing that's exactly what this proposal is it's to make you hate immigrants you know, illegal and otherwise, right? Because first off, number one, even if you think that it's only going to be illegal aliens, illegal immigrants, right? Do you really think that the public sentiment is just going to stop there? Okay, do you think people out there in the heartland, you know, those flyover states that everybody said Democrats had to pay attention to, you think those guys make a distinction between, you know, a legal uh, Mexican immigrant and an illegal Mexican, you know, undocumented immigrant? You think they fucking know the difference or give a shit? No, right? There was a guy, you know, not even um, a week ago, an Indian guy, you know, from India who was here on a visa legally got shot and killed, you know, because somebody thought he was a Muslim. They don't fucking know. Like, when it comes to these people, you know, it, they don't give a shit about, you know, who you actually are, where you are. They just care, you know, what you look like, all right? The guy looked like a Muslim, so he killed him, all right? They're not gonna, there's not going to be a distinction, number one. You know, number two, like... This is like the most fucking unconstitutional fucking thing that you can possibly do, right? And now you might see this and go, okay, well, there's no way that this will happen because it'll never get through even the lowest court. Well, don't be so sure, all right? I mean, there have been in the past, you know, policies like this that have been enacted, you know? Native American genocide, for example, uh, taking away Native American children and putting them into boarding schools. Uh, Japanese internment camps, all right? I mean, that's that last one happened within the lifetime of my grandparents, all right? That's not that long ago, okay? There's plenty of people around today that still remember that happening. So don't say, like, you know, this will never happen here. It's like, no, it could happen here, right? Especially now, you know, especially now since we, we have a Supreme Court that's missing a ninth member, right? You know what that means? That means if it goes all the way up through the courts and all the courts accept it, then it gets to number, you know, the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court can't make a fucking, you know, it's deadlocked, then that means it stands, all right? It's very, very dangerous to even allow this kind of thing to, to take root in the first place, and it shouldn't. And everybody out there right now should be on the horn with their congressman, you know, call them, 
go to their go to their uh, field offices, right? Send them like letters, not just email. Okay, send them actual letters. You know, as in a piece of paper with a stamp. Send that to them. Okay, because if anything, over the last you know, since since the uh, since the election, the one thing that we have been able to demonstrate is that the government will cave when pressure is put on them. All right. Um, you know, for example, the Republicans tried to try to, uh, you know, gut ethics rules and the next day that shit was reversed. OK, um, like right now, like uh, people are overwhelming congressional offices you now because of Obamacare because they don't want it re repealed. And now there's stories in the news about how Republicans are running away. You know, Mark Rubio like ran away. He won't even have a town hall, you know, because <clears throat> there's too many people there because they're all going to yell at him and shit like that. That's how you stop shit like this from happening, right? Don't trust in the courts, okay? Don't trust in, you know, your politicians to do the right thing, because they won't, all right? They're not going to. They're going to do what, you know, they think is most beneficial for them and their donors, right? And so you need to, you need to make them understand that what's the most beneficial for them is to not do this, is to not allow this to, to even pass, and it's it's ridiculous. And one last thing I want to say before I leave here is that, you know, during that speech, there were gasps. You know, people in the audience were like, oh, how could he do that? Right. When he announced this fucking draconian Nazi shit. And I just want to say it's like, well, why are you surprised? All right. Why are you surprised? He, you know, from his first like, you know, speech when he like became a candidate. This is what he ran on. He ran on an anti-immigration policy. You know, we're going to kick out all the bad guys, right? We're going to build a wall, shit like that. We're going to make Mexico pay for it, right? This is what he's fucking, this is what he's been planning all along, you know? And now there's there's people out there saying shit like, well, this is all Steve Bannon and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that could very well be the case, right? They think Trump is too stupid to actually think this shit up by himself. I don't know. Don't be so sure. All right. I mean, I don't think, you know, I think Trump is a bad leader and, and you know, can't tell his fucking ass from a hole in the ground, but I don't think he's stupid. All right. I think he knew what he was doing when he announced this. Right. I think, you know, I don't think that he, that don't think that he's just being manipulated by like, you know, his advisors. All right. You know, it could very well be that he's the one that thought all this shit up in the first place. I mean, there's evidence of like, you know, racism in the Trump organization, Going back into the 70s, you know, how, like, there was a lawsuit about how they wouldn't rent to black people and shit like that, you know? I mean, Trump's 70 years old. He's like my grandfather, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, and he's from a different era, right? Back, like, you know, during Trump's lifetime was segregation, okay? He was a young man when segregation went away, when the civil rights movement came away. Well, you know, old habits die hard. We, and then my point is that we have no idea of knowing Trump's real, you know, motivations, right? Does he really think that this is going to protect America or is he doing it because he's a racist piece of shit? And in the end, it, it really doesn't fucking matter because the end result is, you know, spreading hate and bigotry. You know, it is, that's, that's my thing. It doesn't fucking matter what the real intention is. What matters is the result, okay? And the result is that it's, it's fucking, it's just going to like lead to like people suffering in the country, you know? So don't let it happen, folks. Adios.